The next core concept is encapsulation. Encapsulation is basically information hiding. It describes the idea of bundling data and methods that work on that data within one unit. Here we have a common visualization where both data and methods are packed in a literal capsule. But let me explain it using a scenario that is more familiar to you. So this is the exterior of the registrar's office. Inside are records of students. Imagine if anyone could just walk right in and do whatever they want with the records. Look at someone else's grades, change grades, or steal records without anyone stopping them. It will be a complete chaos. That is why only employees are allowed inside. All the records are kept and secured. All data are private. Of course, students have the right to access their records. That is why they have these windows where students can transact from outside. Window 1 is for making requests. Window 2 is for claiming records that they requested for. To implement encapsulation, we have two steps. So here we have a class with some public attributes. The first step is to set the attributes to private. Only the employee class will be able to access these attributes. And then we are gonna create public methods for setting and retrieving the values of these attributes. Also known as your setters and getters. For the ID attribute, we can create a public set ID. Set ID. Um, ID. And we can have a get ID. Same thing for the name. We can have a public method for setting the name. And another public method for getting the name. Okay. We can do the same thing for the balance. Okay. So this is a very simple implementation of encapsulation. Set the attributes to private. Create public methods to set and get the values from the private attributes. How about for multiple subclasses? Here we have employee, which is the parent class of the regular class. So if we set the attributes to private, the subclass won't be able to inherit these attributes. So instead, we set the attributes to protected. By doing so, we are allowing these attributes to be accessible to the child classes. Also, we want to move the parent class to a separate package to hide the attributes from other classes. Because remember, the protected access modifier will give access to the subclass and classes in the same package. And that's why we want to separate it on its own package. And finally, we create the setters and getters in our subclass. Public set ID. And we can give each of these attributes their own setters and getters in the child class.